Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about images and asset manager. I'm going to show you how to quickly create an asset based on dr simply dragging an image in from the Windows Explorer. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I've got home manager here on the left. On the right I've got some images that I've imported mostly from an iPhone, from iPhone pictures I've taken. Uh, first of all, uh, you know when you take a photo with uh, your phone and import it into your computer usually by uh, plugging the phone into a USB port. Um, when it imports the files it also imports a lot of information regarding the picture. So let me take this picture here for example. I can right mouse click select properties and it's going to show me the obvious stuff here, the resolution and whatnot. But if you click on the details tab you're also going to get a lot of additional information. It's going to tell you what device you use. So it tells me I, I took this picture with an iPhone 6s Plus uh, all this photographic information, f-stop, uh, focal length, etc., no flash, and down here it even it even tells me the GPS I was at, when, the exact location on Earth I was at when I took the picture. So, uh, using a program such as Google Earth, which is a free program, you could copy and paste this latitude and longitude and find out exactly where you were if you forgot that information. So, anyways, that's. Uh, something you may be interested in knowing. Um, okay, so to get started, let's just do a simple drag. Let's say I want to inventory this um, hard drive, so you get hard drive. What I can do is just drag the image into the list section of the main window. Once I've done that, it's going to bring up the add item dialog and under the item pictures tab, the photo that I dragged in was is already uh, attached to the image as the first uh, image. So I'll just click here and type in obviously I could enter a lot of additional information such as purchase date and whatnot later on. Uh, click OK and so I've uh, added one asset with that image as the only image so far. Now let's say later on I want to go in and add a picture of a receipt I took regarding the purchase of this item. I can double click to edit the item go back into item pictures. I'm going to click on uh, number two because I want this to be the second image. And what I could do here is just drag another photo and that's going to be the second image. So now I've got two images attached to this item. A second way of uh, attaching images to your item, you can start by using the add item command click on item pictures. Right now I've got no images but what I can also do is use this load image button here. And If I do that it's going to bring up the Windows File Explorer and it's going to let me select what image I want as image number one. So let me just say I want to uh, I'm going to inventory this uh, action camera. I'll click OK and enter the information. I believe it's called the Z action camera. Now I've got that item inventoried as well. Let's say I have an image that I want to add to multiple assets. Instead of having to go into each asset and add the image separately, what I can do is use this add image command here. So let's say I want to add one image to both of these items. I click on add image after selecting both items and let's say I want to attach our company logo to both of those as an additional image. I'll click open and now as you can see that uh, logo has been attached to both images. Oh, I'm sorry, both assets. You can also add additional images to an item by just dragging it into this dia the image section. So I'll just drag that in and as you can see the image has been added as the third image. So uh, I, I, hopefully that um, clears up some um, there's up maybe some confusion you had regarding images. As you can see, there's lots of different ways of doing it using Home Manage. Thank you much, very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.